القفص نتقدم مهما كان الحاضر فيك نبقى واحد للمستقبل نتوفق in the heart of Khartoum, activists are recording revolutionary songs in a civic lab, a communal place created in 2019 where Sudanese artists can rehearse freely in a studio. Nine cultural workshops have been established across the country. <laughs> Art is a means of transmitting a message to those in power, to society, to political elites. Art plays a big role in sustaining the protests. I go out into the street and I see that the revolution is still alive. It motivates me. When I come back from these demonstrations, I'm in a good state of mind to play music. Recently, the artists from this lab in Khartoum have been targeted by authorities. Since the coup in October 2021, the military have violently attacked revolutionary civilians. Over the last year, a hundred people have died while demonstrating. During an art exhibition which denounced this authoritarian repression, nine artists were arrested. They were quickly released thanks to a collective of lawyers. They decided to write a charter to guarantee their freedom of expression, hoping that one day a law would protect their art. We continue because our goal is to create a country. We've done everything we can to serve the cause. Peaceful coexistence, the management of cultural diversity, peace in Sudan. These young men have been to prison. Some lost their friends in 2019 at the city dismantling by the army, where at least 108 people were killed. They're aware of the risks. We've accepted the fact that at any moment we can be arrested or killed. Our life is worth no more than the life of those who have died before us. This afternoon, these three musicians are demonstrating like every other week. They disperse to avoid being arrested together. For Noni, the fight will be over when a civilian government comes into power. Since the dismantling of the sit-in, Burhan signs agreements, then he does a coup, then he throws us in prison and so on. It's a vicious circle. And it's always the same parties that sign agreements with him. But we are the ones who die in the streets. We can't stop because half of our friends are in prison, even myself. It's four or five days since I got out of prison. These young activists do everything they can to uphold the ideals of the revolution through protests, but also by creating initiatives to empower citizens all over the country. At the Civic Lab, a painting workshop is organized for children with disabilities. Here, activists use art to strengthen the bonds of the community. Eslam, the coordinator of the lab, is a graduate of fine arts and an animator. We explore their potential to see how they think, what they can do with colors. They shouldn't be afraid to try new things. This lab is part of new non-partisan structures meant to reach out to the community. A workshop showing that a democratic civil society is possible. When she's not teaching, Eslam paints with her former teacher. Here, she draws the word revolution next to a representation of the tear gas hunter, a revolutionary symbol. Painting transmits the message in a very direct way. It's even more effective than music. The words are clearly written, the image is very visible. That's why there was a police raid on an exhibition. It's more expressive than music or words. They confiscated the paintings as they were against Burhan. They believed they could put art in jail. Eslam will paint for as long as it is necessary to convey a message of hope, to support those who are already protesting and to encourage those who are yet to join them to rebuild the nation and to defend the rights of all Sudanese.